Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore Windows application packaging in Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So you can use Windows application packaging project in Visual Studio to generate a package for your desktop application. Afterwards, you can distribute your package to the Microsoft store on the web in your enterprise or any other distribution mechanism so to be able to view the windows application packaging project in visual studio you must at least install one of these wet loads which we're actually going to have a look at to do that we have to open a visual studio installer so i've got my visual studio installer opened so we click on the modify So once we've actually clicked on the modify, you can see to be able to view to be able to view the Windows application packaging project in Visual Studio, we must have at least installed the universal Windows platform development workload. The optional components will be installing the MSIS packaging tools in the .NET Core workload or the, op the other optional part is the MSIS packaging tools in the .NET, in a .NET desktop development workload. So any one of these will actually install the Windows packaging, Windows packaging, um, Windows application packaging. Sorry. So we can actually um, install this um, the the Universal Windows platform or the desktop net desktop development site so as you can see i've already checked these boxes so once you do that then you can download and install them so i'm just going to leave this part so as you can see here now i've actually opened the visual studio 2019 so what we actually do is create a new project so here we can actually select i'm um, just going to scroll down it's got a very unique logo or icon so as you can see here now i've got windows um, application packaging project so this is a project that creates mxis packages containing windows application for side loading or distribution via the microsoft store so we click on this and then next so here we can actually change or configure the project details but we're not going to look too much into that so we're just going to click on the create So here we can actually select whatever <coughs> Windows 10 platform that is applicable to us. So in this case, we will leave the minimum target as the Windows 10, obviously version 2004. And the, I mean the target and then the minimum target as version 1809 and click OK. So we, we're just gonna wait for the project to create. So as you can see here now, we've actually got a project created now. Uh, we've got this solution and this one project created and then we've got this applications and then image and then a package manifest. So inside the image, this is what we've actually got inside. So there's nothing really sh inside the images. So if we actually right click the application, it says add reference. At this moment we don't have any application so what we do next is actually right click on the solution and add a new project so we're just gonna scroll down so obviously okay so to, before we do that i'm just gonna try to run it to see what actually happens so as you can see a project must have a reference to an application so please add a reference under the ap application node in the solution. So we have to add a project. We can do it from any available or existing project or we can just add a new WPF project. So I'm just going to look for a WPF application. Then next create. So now we've got a WPF app added to it. So what we do is we just 
come to the applications and add reference. So here we've got a reference manager. So we can see the application, I mean the project that we've, the WPF project that we've just added. So we're just gonna check this box and click OK. So as you can see here now, we can expand the application and we've got the project added to the, to the package manager. So what we do next is we right click on the, this and as you can see here now, we can set this application as an entry point application. So in this case, this application that will actually start first. We can click on it and that, that will be set to that. Yeah. So what we do next is if we actually try to run this, this project, let's see what actually happens. So now let's actually do something inside the WPF application or WPF app. So we're just going to, we're just going to add a test. Text block. Uh, we're just going to add the test. Um, nothing really. And we're just going to make the font a bit bigger. And horizontal alignment to center. Yeah, we're just going to leave it like this. And okay, let's make the vertical alignment as well. Set that to center as well. Yeah, so that's all. We're just going to save it and we're actually going to run it. So as, you can, as we can see here, this project is actually set to set as a startup project. So this will actually run. So we click on the start. So as you can see, we've got a project running now and we've actually have the WPF application running instead. So we're just going to look at some next part and the last part of it. So what we do is we actually right click the, on, the, on the project. And then we come inside uh, the publish and then we click on the create app packages. So here we'll be able to select a distribution method for our application. So what we do is we can select the Microsoft store under a new application name, right? And then we click on next. So here, as you can see, we can have, once you click on next, you can have your you'll be able to actually publish it to a Microsoft store. I don't want to do that because obviously that's going to show my email. Yeah. Oh, you can actually select this part. Yeah. And then select next. So this will actually allow you to actually publish it or create a, an MSI or generate an executable from it. So here you can actually select um, a certificate or, or you can create it yourself or you can skip that sign in part of it and come here so here you can actually do uh, select that uh, means configure the, the package and then next so here you can select the part that you want to install the application and then you can create it you can after that then you can click this part to create it so I'm not gonna go further from it here but I'm just gonna leave it here so that you can actually explore it further yourself, right? So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope this video helps you to be able to actually publish your application to Microsoft Store or to whatever, or whatever distribution mechanism that you want to use. So once again, have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon. Peace.